Welcome back. Now, the only licensed printing machine has broken down again, but the Department of Transport says there's no driver's license backlog. It says it's in the process of replacing this solitary machine with the bidding process closing yesterday. However, the DA is calling on the department to decentralize the printing process. So let's bring in now the DA's Tamsang Mamabena for more on this. Joining me this morning, and Tamsang, thank you so much for your time. Good morning to you. Uh, from your knowledge, how significant is the backlog? with regards uh, to the issue surrounding this uh, licensed card printing machine. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity this morning and greetings to all the viewers of ENCA. Look, the department would like the public to believe that there is no uh, imminent risk of any backlog whatsoever, but that is unfortunately not true, but also speaks to a government that does not do um, forward planning. I think we've had, uh, um, we've had significant breakdowns in the uh, previous times where we've had significant um, backlogs which there. And also when you plan, you plan in such a way that you don't anticipate to have any backlogs whatsoever. So we can't wait for when we have backlogs and then we come with solutions. So part of the reason why the DA has been calling um, for a decentralized process and devolving the process to provincial authorities is, is very simple. We want to have a situation where you don't have only a single printing um, service which is being done in Pretoria, but also the process itself currently, it is being administered in the provinces. When you go and apply for a driver's license, you apply at your provincial authority or at your local authority. And all the all the capturing of your data, the application form, the paying of the fees, and everything else associated with it, the entire process is done at a local and provincial level. The only thing that happens in Pretoria is the printing and our problem and difficulty with that is that there is only one printing uh, machine which is handling the printing for the entire country, but also that very same machine itself has been in use since 1998. I mean, um, there has been uh, numerous uh, milestones in terms of technological upgrades and, mm. and all of that, and we can't be using a machine that has been in use since 1998. So we are calling for the process to at least each and every province must have a provincial printing um, um, process which is there because the the process itself currently mm. is happening at provincial level and at local level. Right. We understand that this has uh, forced the department to restart the procurement process for these uh, new driving license cars. But in your view, what do you think have been some of the administrative deficiencies by the Department of Transport that has led them to now restart this procurement process all over again? I think there's a number of issues which um, were there because when we pressed the department in the portfolio committee, they cited that they had to um, restart the process uh, because there were some other um, matters administratively which were not taken care of. But also there was a, a portfolio committee meeting that we had with the department itself, I think it was last year, where they mentioned that after they had um, done um, the specs and everything else, the, the laptop or the computer that had everything um, was stolen in a way and so as such um, they had lost significant amount of, of data and and all of that so in part perhaps that that might be the reason that they um they have to restart the process so but mm. it, in itself it speaks to a government that you know has serious administrative and operational deficiencies you can't have a central and national government that behaves in that way and that cannot secure its own processes and that cannot guarantee um, the security of its own processes so it speaks to a government that cannot really handle its own yeah. business Sometimes we also understand that the uh, department has uh, rejected your suggestion as the DA citing incapacity but also a lack of resources. Are these reasons sufficient enough for you? Absolutely not. Those reasons are, in fact, uh, uh, significantly uh, insufficient. Let's look at it this way. It's an investment um, um, for a future. And also, you do so in such a way that you create a buffer. Now, the reason why we're calling for the um, decentralization of the process, the department is starting the process from scratch. They're rebooting the entire process. They are doing a new license uh, card driving um, um, uh, 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 printing uh, a process and they're doing the cut and enhancing the issue of security around the, the driving license itself. But also the process in, in itself, the entire process, the entire eco 
uh, system of the process from uh, from start to finish has been um, restarted. So we are saying that that's an opportunity for you to actually do it in such a way that you devolve the process to provincial authorities where you don't have now to start a brand new process. Because you're already at the beginning and at the first phase of this entire thing. So it's an opportunity for you to do that. But also to cite um, lack of resources and, ev and everything else, what are we losing in terms of time, convenience, and money of South Africans um, every time there is a, a, a blackout or every mm. time we have a, that printing uh, machine uh, you know, breaking down? And also, what is also of big concern is that the department said in their statement that the machine had gone for a routine maintenance. Right. And during that routine maintenance, the machine actually broke down during that routine maintenance. What was the point? Of the machine going for a routine maintenance when it's still going to break down anyway so hence we're calling for a decentralized process but also to make sure that we bring services closer to the people but also increase efficiency and make sure that we reduce the turnaround time but also create a buffer in a situation where um, there is a everything breakdown but let me give you maybe a, like an example if we have um, in each and province printing happening we don't envisage a situation where there is a a breakdown of all the machines across all the provinces but right. if there is a breakdown for instance say in Gauteng um we can then be in a position to say okay if maybe there's low demand in the northern cape we can then ask for assistance from northern cape to assist the printing that uh, is supposed to be happening in Gauteng in such mm. a way that you reduce the actual turnaround time completely but also you you cushion the system against a total blackout. But when the department now itself want to have a process right. um, that they want to centralize it in Pretoria, it doesn't make any sense.